All right. This is the second part. Sorry about that. This happened the other day. Same thing in the middle of my video. It just froze up, but I could still be heard talking. Um, <clears throat> but back to what I was saying. Um, so he just rushes through. Oh, I said I don't need anybody to comment. Because if you do comment that it's my fault, I will just delete the comment and I will block you. So don't bother. I know that I am the parent and he is a child and he is supposed to listen to me. And if he's going to act like that, then he does not need to have anything. He needs to be, you know, taken away from him. And it has. His guitars have been taken away from him. His Xbox and his PlayStation they have been taken away from him. His tablet and his phone have been taken away from him. Um, so, and he doesn't watch TV upstairs, or doesn't watch TV because he doesn't like anything that's on TV. The only thing he ever wants to watch is YouTube videos, and his fire stick's even taken from him. So, um, I've, I am doing what I can, but the more I push him, the worse, the more of a more of an attitude I get from him, and then he sits down and does a poor job on his work because he's trying to prove a point. Then, so yeah, that's what I'll be doing on the twenty seventh. I will be sitting in the school at one o'clock, trying to figure out a plan to get this child to get his work done. Um, also, this has not ever been mentioned. Nobody knows. Well, people know. Um, that I talked to, but it's not been mentioned on my YouTube channel, that I have braces. I had to get braces put on December 16th, uh, 2019. Um, being an adult with braces, that's not fun. Um, learning to eat is not fun. Not being able to eat, for the most part, is not fun. Um, there's so many things that I cannot eat and will not be able to eat until I get these off. Um, the reason I had to get braces at my age is <clears throat> because when my molars, or when my uh, wisdom teeth came in, they came in crooked and up against my back molars, which in turn caused some cavities. So when they pulled my wisdom teeth, the cavities were pretty extensive. So they went ahead and just pulled my molars too. Well, over time, as, as we get older, our <clears throat> teeth start to shift anyway. Um, but having those molars removed gave more space for my teeth to shift more. So I my midline is way off and I have a mandible occlusion as well, which I really don't, it's hard to explain. It, it has to do with um, my overbite, I think. It's not excessive overbite, but it, there is one there. Um, my back teeth, when I close my mouth, my back teeth, um, I'm chewing like on the outside of my back teeth, not the top part. So that's why I had to get the braces put on. Um, I was starting to get a huge space between my top teeth in the front, which has to do with the way that my teeth were shifting. Since having these put on, since it has been figured to be two months tomorrow, the midline, that gap there, has closed. There's been a lot of shifting that is done um, having these put on. But um, I said eating is difficult. I can't eat anything crunchy. So no chips, no tortilla chips, uh, no Doritos, no fried chicken. Um, no nuts, no popcorn, even though popcorn is soft, I risk getting the kernels and all that stuck. Um, can't eat anything chewy, so no caramel, 
no gum. Now I know everybody says, well, people with braces do that. Yes, they do. But they take risks that I'm not willing to take because if I bite down on something, like even pizza crust, I cannot eat pizza crust. So if I bite down on something crunchy, I risk the pressure because when we bite, we already put pressure on our teeth. But with them having, with me having the brackets and the wires, the wires are putting pressure on my teeth. So if I'm biting down, I'm going to have resistance on the brackets and the wire, and I'm going to risk popping a bracket off or breaking my wire. Um, we've already paid for my braces, but when you're paying for your braces, depending on the dentist possibly, or it just might be this way across the board, if you pop off a bracket, if I pop a bracket off, it's $50 per bracket that I pop off. They cannot replace, or cannot use the same bracket. Even if it pops off and I get it, they cannot use that bracket because chances are there's going to be damage to that bracket. So they have to put on a new bracket. So each bracket is $50. If I break my wire, depending on what type of wire I happen to have on at the time, it could be upwards of $100 or more for the wire. My braces cost $5,800. I am not about to risk breaking anything. And you figure, I have to have these on for 30 months. I'm only getting ready to start my third of 30. I have a long time to go. I'm not taking any chances. I don't want to have to pay more money because of negligence on my part when I was specifically told by my orthodontist not to do it. And as an adult, you know, I'm going to listen. So eating has been, um, I love food and with braces, I despise food. I eat as little as possible. I do not even come close to eating properly, whether it's how often I eat or what, what it is I'm eating. I eat what I'm able to eat and I hold off eating as long as I can because um, brushing my teeth is not fun. It's a 45 minute task between brushing and flossing and using the water flosser and using the little bracket brush and yeah. The more stuff that I eat that gets stuck on my teeth, the longer it's going to take getting it out. So when I do eat, it's things very simple, um, more things that I can just swallow without chewing, which has been mashed potatoes. I do not want to see mashed potatoes for a very long time. I am so over the mashed potatoes. Macaroni and cheese, same thing. Spaghetti. I tried eating it with meat sauce, and I can do it, but I just get pieces of meat stuck. So, yeah, it's not fun. But I have something that's wrapped around a bracket right now that I have not been able to get off. So that's what this whole long thing was leading up to, is this week I have to go to the orthodontist to have them um, take the my band that's holding my bra um, the wire on the bracket. I have to take that off and whatever's wrapped that's stuck in between there, they'll have to get out and put a new one back on. Um, the week before last, on the 7th, yeah, it was the 7th, I spent the entire day back and forth between the orthodontist, the dentist and the orthodontist. 9 o'clock a.m. on the 7th, I went to the orthodontist. They took my wire off. At 11 o'clock, I went to the dentist for them to give me a cleaning. And at 3.15, I was back at the orthodontist for them to add a bracket to my bot last two or last molar on the bottom of each side. That was the only place they didn't put brackets initially because they needed some movement um, on between the molars first. So now they put those brackets on. A new wire, same weight as the last one, so the pressure hasn't changed since then having them put on. But I go back on the 13th. That will be a two-hour visit. They will um, 
it'll be for an, an adjustment. So they will go ahead, they will take this wire off, they will adjust some of my brackets, they will put a new wire on, and that one will now be the first wire um, change as far as pressure change that I will have. So this is going to be a thicker wire that's going to help um, with alignment and more movement in my teeth. Um, all of my teeth are loose right now, which is part of the process. Your teeth can't move if they're not loose. They have to be loose enough to be able to shift. Um, I don't really notice it a whole lot now. At first it was weird, but um, I, I only notice it if you know I happen to bite down on something, which I try not to. Um, I don't bite into anything at all. I do not bite into a sandwich. I do not bite into a burrito. Um, I will not eat an ear of corn for three years. Almost three years. Um, I don't bite into a hot dog. Everything is cut up in small infantile pieces and eaten. Um, I use plastic silverware, plastic fork, plastic spoon for fear that I don't want to accidentally hit one of my brackets or something with the, the tines of the fork or with the spoon. But everything's broken up real small or and chewed on or it's just something that I can just swallow. So, um, yeah. But this is a quiet weekend. Um, like I said, son's upstairs doing his thing. Husband's in Arizona. It's just me down here, diamond painting. I'm still working on Seabreeze Trail. I didn't get as much done on it as I would like. I started this on February 8th. Well, I had a few drills on it prior to, um, and when I say a few, I mean like 20. I laid about 20 drills um, last year on it, and then I put it away because I had to get... Um, some done as that were for gifts. So, um, yeah, I went ahead and this is part of my slash the stash. So technically I may have started it last year, but I've officially started and continued with it, um, since February 8th. So in a matter of what, seven days I've gotten, um, let me see here. I am, I'd have to kind of show you from here because my setup's not bad. I had a few drills in this area here. The 20 drills that I had initially laid was just in this section, like right here where that pink is. Let's see if I can get better lighting. Since then, I'm on, right now I'm like working. I've done this whole area down here up to about here. I'm just right below the water line. So I've gotten all the sand done and I'm now working my way up here. So that's all been done since, let me see if you can see. Yeah, you can see that. Sorry about the movement. So I've done, and this goes all the way across. Let me see if I can get this to move to where you can see it. Oh shoot. Yeah. So, yeah. But, um, so I'm trying to get this done. I did an unboxing earlier today, a Diamond Art Club unboxing, which I will be posting as soon as my son has a chance. I will be getting it, um, up, up on the, on YouTube. He knows how to do all that. I don't, I'm not computer savvy. So I leave all of the editorial, well, I, he, we don't edit my videos because I don't have a program for that yet. I'm just using the one that came with my computer. Eventually I will get one and I won't have all these problems. Um, you know, my, my videos will be a little more profesh. But you get me f raw and unfiltered. <laughs> Excuse me. But I have him put that up here um, along with this one. I'm getting ready here shortly to 
watch Jeremy's live and trying to decide if I'm want to do any crocheting tonight or reading or watch just sit and watch some movies I don't sleep well when my husband's not home so it will be a very late night so whatever it is that I decide I'm going to be doing it will be late into the hours the nighttime hours or real early morning hours but I just wanted to stop in and chat for a bit <clears throat> let you know what's going on and let you know that um, I have more unboxings coming next week and I did place an order today there is a painting on DC that I had been looking at and I wanted it and each time I would go to get it it would be well first off they put it on the website and they discontinued or yeah pretty much discontinued or clearanced it right away because they did not like um, how it was rendered there's something about the face which I don't know what the problem was because I I loved it the minute I see it I thought it was a beautiful <clears throat> um, image I didn't see anything wrong with it but they discounted it really low and it was gone each time I went to try to get it. They would get it back and then it would, you know, be gone again. And they'd get it back and it'd be gone again before I had a chance. Well, today they just extended out the Valentine's Day um, discount. So when I seen that it was on there, I got all excited and I ordered it. So that will be here probably Thursday and I will show you what it is it is the remember me by um, Micah Jelena so oh, camera I didn't realize how blurry everything is for y'all I'm so sorry yeah I got to get a new webcam I am just so sorry I hope when you're listening you're just listening and you're working on your craft, not trying to see because, yeah, I, I've got a really bad webcam and I don't know why it's so bad. But anyhow, yeah, I ordered this today. So this will be coming in probably Thursday. So I'm excited. That'll be an unboxing. None of these are being worked on. This is actually um, regular $49.99. They had it marked down to $34.99 and with my discount. I got it for shipping and all. I mean, like, with the, because I only bought the one, so I had to pay the $6.99 shipping. But even with paying for the shipping, I, st I still paid less for the painting than I would have without the shipping if I would have had free shipping. It ended up being $33.24, which, like I said, original price was $49.99. They had it marked down to $34.99. Then I got my discount and um, they added the shipping my, with the discount was down to $26.25 and then they added the shipping and it ended up being $33.24. I was happy with that. And there's only one more of hers that I'm going to need to get because I have the Seraphin and I have the Rhiannon. The only one that I'll need to get is Nova, I think is what it was. I'll get that pot eventually. I'm waiting to see if they mark it down again. Or once I get some more rewards, I am working towards a $50 reward right now. So um, once I get that, then I'll probably go ahead and, and buy the Nova. So... But I'm going to go ahead and jump off of here because Jeremy's live is going to be starting here in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And I want to go ahead and get another cup of coffee and get myself settled so I can sit down and enjoy that. So I hope you have a wonderful night. I'm hoping to have these up tonight. If not, it will be tomorrow. Both the first part of this and the second part of this, as well as my unboxing from this morning. Hope to anybody who um, watches this video, I hope I see them in Jeremy's live tonight. Um, 
please give me a thumbs up. If not, that's fine. I'm okay. If you like it, that's great. If not, that's okay too. You want to go ahead and share my video or the channel. I'd appreciate that. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can see all my videos that will be coming up here. Um, in the future, I will be um, giving, I'm working on my giveaway. We are getting closer to, um, I've already got 100 subscribers. We are getting closer to the 200 and I discussed, you know, for every hundred, for the first hundred, it'd be a, a giveaway. For the second one, there'd be a giveaway. But then after, for 200, sorry. So for a hundred, there's going to be a winner. For 200, there's going to be a winner. But once I hit 500, that will be three winners in my giveaway. My giveaway is going to be running until... It was going to be March 1st, but because one of the items is coming from China, I'm probably going to extend it out until April 1st. April 1st is probably is going to be when I will no longer be accepting um, entries, but we're still working on how you're going to enter. Hopefully by then. I can have 500 so I can have an extra winner so if you have any questions or um, just want to comment you can go ahead and leave a comment in the, in the comment section if you'd like to contact me you can reach me through my email I am going to have my son put this in the description box he keeps forgetting but if you need to reach me through email, you can reach me at missy, M-I-S-S-Y, 0-6-1-5-7-2 at gmail.com. Or you can reach me through Instagram at Melissa underscore B underscore craft underscore with underscore me. Sorry about that. Son created that. Or you can reach me on Facebook at Melissa, at Melissa B or Melissa Brown. And you'll see my little, there's, I have a couple um, screen names on Facebook for different um, groups that I've been in, but you'll be able to see my little icon. It's the same icon that I have here on Facebook, the little Melissa B. Craft with me icon. So you can also reach me on um, Facebook through Messenger. And I hope you have a wonderful Saturday night and a beautiful Sunday. Enjoy your President's Day. If for those that do not have to work, and for the ones that do have to work, I'm really sorry. Um, they've got to figure out. I mean, I know President's Day is it's kind of a federal holiday. But, you know, I know they get federal employees get days off too on the weekends that you guys don't usually get. So hope you all enjoy your long weekend. Hope you have a great night. Take care, y'all. See you later.